Well, it is Friday and I am back in the office. I was in Delaware County, Pennsylvania this morning, representing a client. Now I'm back in New Jersey, getting ready to see some clients in the afternoon session. With that said, think about some blog articles regarding what happened earlier. I think it was last week regarding a woman not stopping for police in Montgomery County. Uh, she eventually brought the car to a stop and had an altercation with the police officer. The officer deployed his taser, and that's not, that's not my understanding. The woman has filed a civil lawsuit against uh, the Lower Marion Police Department or is in the process of doing that. I know she's retained counsel. Uh, this woman is still charged, however, with several criminal offenses, including resisting arrest, eluding a police officer, drug possession, and driving on a suspended license. The, they released the video, and it clearly shows her not stopping her vehicle, despite the fact the officer's behind her, lights are flashing, he's in uniform, and she told the news and her attorney has told the press that she didn't feel safe stopping the vehicle. And I don't know if that lawyer just doesn't practice in criminal courtrooms. He probably obviously doesn't. He's a civil lawyer. But that is not a defense to failing to stop for a police officer's commands or failing to adhere to orders. If the officer's in, in a patrol car and he's behind you and they're ordering you to stop, the right thing to do is to stop. Uh, if the officer, after stopping your vehicle, approaches your vehicle and he's in full uniform and you have no reason to think that he isn't a police officer when it's pretty clear that he is, again, telling the officer, I want to see your sergeant or I don't feel safe, Again, isn't it a legal defense? This woman is going to be charged with resisting arrest, eluding, and I personally think she's going to be convicted of it if the case goes to trial. Now, they filed a civil lawsuit, so perhaps that might put pressure, perhaps, on the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office, but really, that shouldn't affect the prosecution in the case, because clearly she was in the wrong here. She was in the wrong when she failed to stop her vehicle. And I always advise clients to stop your car, be polite, be respectful to the officer. Getting into an argument with the officer is never going to help the criminal case. It's, it's only going to make things worse. And in addition to adding charges, the prosecution, if the case does go to trial, is going to have a strong argument because they're going to argue things like consciousness of guilt. In this situation, she didn't stop the car and we come to find out that, number one, there's allegedly drugs in the car. Her attorney says that uh, there's a prescription for this oxycodone. But again, if she had produced a prescription or they had found the prescription for this drug, she wouldn't have been charged with it. DA's offices in Pennsylvania and prosecutor's offices in New Jersey aren't going to waste their time charging something in which there's a clear case of exculpatory evidence. So in this situation, she had oxycodone in the car. It doesn't appear to be she had, she had a, a prescription for it. In addition, she was driving on a suspended license. And the prosecutor's office is going to argue that the reason why she didn't stop the car wasn't because she didn't, quote, unquote, feel safe. It was because she, number one, she knew she didn't have a valid driver's license. Number two, she knew that the drugs were in the car. So had she just stopped the car and produced her information, Number one, we don't know for sure the officer even would have found the oxycodone because perhaps it wasn't in plain view and, with, and without probable cause to conduct a search or to get a search warrant, we know that a search never would have occurred. So right then and there, she probably would have gotten maybe a ticket for driving on a suspended license. Perhaps they would have impounded the car or just moved it to the side of the road, parked it and had her pick it up later or have someone pick it up later. So she would have had merely a summary offense. And now she has, in addition to a summary offense, she has a resisting arrest charge, which is a misdemeanor. She has a looting charge, which is a misdemeanor, can be a felony charge. And she has a drug charge, which, again, is a, is a misdemeanor. So now instead of dealing with four charges, she's dealing with, I'm sorry, instead of dealing with one charge, she's dealing with, with four charges. And I noticed that the attorney who put a statement out for her, isn't defending her in the criminal case. In fact, she's unrepresented. So I don't know if, if, if that's the route she plans on going on in this case, or perhaps that law firm is going to represent her in a criminal courtroom, even though they're probably not 
the best ones to do that, given the fact that they've taken this position as far as her feeling safe to stop her vehicle and believing that's some type of, some type of defense in this case. But again, if you have questions regarding how to handle a police stop, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, website, gambongo.com. As always, there's a tremendous resource for you and your family. All my books, my blogs, and videos are available there in one convenient format. In addition, we have our podcast. We bring together all the top attorneys, talk about their practice areas outside of the world of criminal defense, because we understand that these are important issues. And unlike many attorneys, I'm not going to give advice in an area where I don't practice in. So I'm not going to give civil advice in a case that I have no understanding with, uh, but that seems to be what was happening here. Uh, hopefully she receives better advice with regards to what to, do, what to do with the criminal case. And they don't attempt to walk into a preliminary hearing and attempt to argue that because that certainly isn't a defense and the case will be held for trial. And if she does nothing but keep this current position, she will be convicted of it. Now, as far as her civil lawsuit is concerned, I don't know where that's going. But I have to say that if she has a criminal conviction, that's going to damage, I believe, her her civil action. Because you can argue all you want that, that the officer didn't perhaps approach the situation correctly. But I, to be honest with you, I disagree. It's a tinted window situation. The driver of the car didn't roll down the windows. The officer, based on his training and experience, knows that a lot of traffic stops do result in potential fatalities for police officers. They write laws to protect police officers. And really, this is something that no criminal defense lawyer would ever advise a client to do doing a traffic stop. If, if anything, we give the opposite advice, give your license registration, be polite, be respectful, don't give consent to search your car, but again, do it in, in a respectful manner and you don't gain anything by being disrespectful to the police officer. If anything, you land yourself in a situation that she's in. So again, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you all very soon.